All right, um, got a marble right here. Um, looks like a pretty nice one. Let me get cleaned off later. All right, it's some kind of clear base marble. It's beautiful. Look at that, folks. Later. All right, I got something coming out here. Looks pretty good. Oh, it's break up. It's a croc. I don't think it says anything. It's one of them brown and white ones. It's all break. Thought it was whole. Later. All right, here's a nice blue ball mason. Pretty good find. Take that. Later. All right, I'm back uh, dump digging. I went to the river this morning, but the water was just a little bit too high, so I just turned around and came home. Um, I got my first marble though up here, and hats off to the people that uh, let me come here. Um, they were kind enough to let me uh, come in here and didn't really even know me, but knew my parents and uh, were very friendly, and thank you. Um, if I find anything this week that's real nice here, uh, you get it. Um, that's you know that's the way you got to treat this stuff and you got to treat the land you're on um respectively fill in your holes not throw trash around and let people know what you're doing when you're doing stuff like this um 90 percent of the dumps like this are on somebody's property and you know you just can't walk into the woods um and start digging holes on somebody's property without asking you have to ask um there's some places that are on like public places that no one cares if you dig, but this isn't one of them. But let's pick up this uh, marble here and see what we got. Man, this is another beautiful marble. Um, let me get it cleaned off later. All right, it's some kind of blue swirl. I'd say this is like an alley or something. Um, it's a machine made marble, I would guess. It's what it looks like to me, um, but it's nice. And you know, maybe worth a dollar or so. But that's a good find. You know, it'll look nice with my collection of marbles. All right. I got a decent find. I already got this um, bottle. I kind of looked at it, but it's an embalming fluid, and it's a nice one. Um, you know, it's kind of morbid. I'd probably give it, see if maybe the people that own this want one of them, but I doubt it. I'd like to find them a nice crock, though. But it seems like they're all busted here. But I'm doing all right. I got some decent bottles up there. I got one marble. And now I got this. And this makes the trip worth it. You know. I looked up some of these that I found. And what they sold for. And you know. A lot of them will get like. $12.95 to 20 bucks, And then you got to pay like $14.95 to ship. So a lot of them didn't sell. But you know. It's $15. $20 minimum at a flea market. And it's perfect condition. Um, it says the Embalmer Supply Co. Westport, Connecticut. So I have two of these now from here. Not bad. Not bad at all. And it says Embalmers on it. So we're in business. Later. All right. I just found that embalming fluid bottle. I've been here like an hour and a half. I found some other bottles that I'll show at the end. Like a bark root beer that's different. But right up in here, I was r raking off some leaves. And where's it at? There. Look. You see it? There's a marble just right on the surface of the ground. It's right there. Looks nice. Oh, look at that, folks. Wow, look at that marble. That's a beautiful swirl, isn't it? It's a little bigger than average, too. That's nice condition, too. Wow. That's a daymaker. Later. All right, it's my third marble back in here. This is a different dump, and I'm still finding marbles, but not as many. I've been here a good while. It was in this can. This is just how I saw it. I raked this out. And look at this. That's a rusted and melted glass iceberg. That thing's huge. I couldn't hardly get it out of there. I got to rake all this stuff down and even it out too. It's going to take me an hour to clean it, rake this back out and bury this stuff. But there's a cat eye. It's pretty nice. It's a blue one. Just average. But looks like it has a little yellow in it. Maybe they're on the tip of one of these things not bad like a dollar marble 50 cents maybe but cool yeah i thought i had a whole insulator but that one's busted i think it's one of them ones with the stars on it that's uh later well this looks like an embalming fluid bottle look at this one folks i raked it out back up in here this is going to cave in but this is a different one. Oh, it's embossed on both sides let me get this cleaned off it's got oh man it says Peter Farahay and Sons, a high of something. I'll clean it off later. I'm not sure if this is an embalming fluid or not. I'll have to look this up. It says 
prepared by Dr. Peter Farinay and Sons Company, Chicago, Illinois. The reliable old time preparation for home use. That's cool. Later. That's a little older beer. It's got that top on it where it would have had the wires. I'm gonna take that, that's perfect. See if I can't find something cool like that with embossing. Been here a while, I'm not doing as good as I thought, but I'm still finding stuff. Hopefully I can get a milk or something later. All right, I didn't get, all right, I didn't get far enough away from the last dump. I'm gonna have to travel on to the next dump so I can find different cakes and stuff. I'm finding them, but as you can see, it's Sistersville. And I have about a thousand of these at my house from another dump. It's perfect. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to leave the cakes, but, you know, it's from the 1940s. It's perfect. It's nice glass. It's got a town name on it. You got, you got to take them. Later. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's an Atlas Easy Seal. And it's, uh, it's got a crack. Right there. But it's embossed. That's a shame. Won't take that. I'll get back at you. Later. All right. I got another marble down there. See if you can see it. It looks like a white cat eye or something similar to that yeah it is let me wipe it off here real quick i'll just i won't turn off the camera i'm not doing bad this looks like it might be have two yeah it's got a little like peach in it there it's two color not you know contrasting that much but it's two color there must be there must be marbles back in here it's just the next rake and i got another one it looks like another cat eye um let me clean it off here real quick. I'm in like a 30s and 40s layer. Um, right there. Little blue cat eye. Not bad. Later. I'm definitely where a jar is busted open. Here's another one. Oh, this is a little better one. Look at this, folks. Let me get it cleaned off. Later. All right. Um, this is a pretty marble. It's got all kinds of colors there on a blue marble. That's pretty cool. Um, it's a machine made, but, you know, a couple bucks. Pretty cool. Nice with my collection. Later. All right, I just raked out another cake. We'll see what it is, but I'm finding some cool ACLs, and the graphics are just perfect on the side of this hill. Ma's Old Fashioned Root Beer, Moundsville, West Virginia. I have uh, multiples of these from the other dump. I found a 7-Up down here, a big wide mouth Atlas Mason. But this cake's looking pretty nice. Um, it's Sistersville, West Virginia. You can see there, like all of them. Anyway, later. All right, I got a marble right here. I just raked it out back in there. Um, I don't know what it is yet. Oh, it's one of them like wire pull ones and it's a clear one with white wisps. Let me get this cleaned off. This is nice. Later. All right, this is, this is a really fabulous marble. Look at that. It's got a big bubble right in the center of it. A real big bubble and it's got white wisps all over the outside and on the inside and look at that bubble that's huge it looks as big as a BB in there later wow this would have been awesome look at this that's a native design pot oh I would have loved that look it's hand painted oh that's awesome look at that that's old too that's probably worth some money later all right, I'm back. Let me get my glove off here. Um, I got a nice embalming fluid, um, blue, lots of blue glass bottles. I got one of these trio colas. That's a pretty rare cola. I got this and got, there's more blue bottles in there and I got all these blue bottles and cakes. There's an RC I didn't show. It's got the, it'll have a 1930s date on it, copyright. No, it didn't say. That one, all of them say 1936. This one doesn't. Huh, I don't have that one in. But I got all this stuff too. Plus I got a pocket full of marbles. Well, not a pocket full, but several. And I got, there's a spoon there. I got another spoon in my pocket. But I got these marbles. I like that red swirl. That's nice. Um, this blue one here is nice too. This, both of these blue ones are nice. Not bad. Um, not as good as I hoped. It seemed like the first spot I dug, um, I uh, raked around is where everything was at. And it's like everything off of it's just the same stuff at the other dump. You know, I found all these bottles. So what's the point of even taking them? I'm going to maybe trade them to somebody for one bottle or something. But I'll keep the embalming fluid and stuff and the marbles. So not a bad day. I'll get back on my next one, fix. Later. 
All right, I just found another dump. It's newer stuff. You can see there's a sweeper, um, a toilet. There's a bunch of stuff. Some of it's older, but it's not as old as I'd want. I'm still looking around. I'm looking for more spots to dig there later. All right, I got back to my car, and you can. I got back to my car, and you can see all that uh, trash down there. I walk down and look at it. It's all newer stuff, like 70s and late 60s. So it's not worth looking at. I'm gonna leave now. Later, fix. That's another dump I didn't even know about right there. Just got to walk around, get permission from the landowner though. Later.